This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. New Zealand big man and Kentucky basketball commit Ty Winyard may be making his way to Lexington sooner rather than later. Winyard has reportedly enrolled at UK for the spring semester and is currently in the process of obtaining his student visa. Winyard's mother told the Cats Paws that her son is 50 50 on whether to play right away or redshirt next semester. Well, last weekend was not very pretty for the Kentucky football Wildcats, losing by 31 at home to Tennessee. If there was one positive to be taken away from the game, though, it was the running game. Boom Williams went down in the first half with an injury, but Mikhail Horton played well in relief. Head coach Mark Stoops says he just wishes they had stayed with that game plan a little more often. But the, the, the running game in general wasn't bad. I thought if there's any one thing, and it, you know, as we all look at things, I mean, I think, you know, Coach Shannon will tell you, and as we look at the film and break it down, you know, I wish we'd have just gone to some of our power running game earlier because we did have some success against them, you know, without, you know, going sideways and getting behind the chains too much, just running it and getting some, some tough yards. Another team that is struggling entering this weekend is Kentucky's opponent, the Georgia Bulldogs, who have lost three of their last four. The only win in that span is a 9-6 victory over Missouri. The Bulldogs have not scored a touchdown in their last 10 quarters, once again putting head coach Mark Richt on the hot seat. Richt says he understands the fans' frustrations. I don't get mad at them. I mean, uh, I really don't even get put out, put out with them, quite frankly. I don't blame them for, for feeling a certain way, but I do think that all of our fans need to support our players, you know, because they're, they're just young, they're young guys. They're 18, 22 years old, some of them, you know, and, uh, and they're, they're battling their tails off. They're working so hard that it's unbelievable how, what, we, what we put them through. Kentucky hopes for a much better showing than its last two when it visits Georgia this Saturday. The game said for a noon kickoff with coverage on the SEC network. The Bulldogs opened as a 17 point favorite, but the line has since dropped to 14. Georgia, as I mentioned, has not scored a touchdown in its last 10 quarters of play or two and a half games. The Corbin Lady Redhounds are up next in our round ball preview series. After two straight regional championships and trip to EA Diddle Arena, Corbin bowed out in the first round of the 13th region tournament last season to Harlan, and that early round loss left the now seniors a bad taste in their mouths, ready to get back on top heading into this season. It's finally our chance to, it's like, it's our team, it's the seniors team, and we have a chance to uh, get the district championship and the region championship, and we just want that title back. I mean, then it hurt, of course, but I think it still hurts. Like, it's still, it's like kind of a chip on our shoulder, like we know, our freshman and sophomore year we were so successful, but we had like older seniors and older people that were really good that we looked up to that led us on this team. And now we know that it, like it's our turn. We, we need to do the same thing that they did. We are just so like well together. Like we, we're all like, we're tight on and off the court and that helps us a lot. And we just communicate very well. I mean, we don't really talk a lot, but we just like, we know what each, you know, what each other's gonna do, so. Makes it, it makes us want it, uh, want it more because we won region two years before that and we went in overconfident thinking that uh, we got this and then we choked and so now <laughs> it's just a chip on our shoulder and we want to win it again. It is now time to announce our player of the week from the final week of the high school football regular season. Look at the numbers by Pineville wide receiver Will Adams. Three catches for 214 yards. All three of his catches went for touchdowns, and defensively he recorded one tackle, an interception that he just happened to run back for another score, and he win over Jenkins. The Cincinnati Reds shaking things up in their front office just a little bit. Dick Williams has been promoted to senior vice president and general manager of the organization. Executive Walt Jockety will remain the team's president of baseball operations and oversee the department. But Williams says he's looking forward to having more of a voice in the front office. I don't think it'll change a lot day to day. Walt and I have worked together closely now for eight years. And it's not just the two of us. As I said before, we've got a group of guys in the office and a group of guys out of the office that we consult on almost every 
decision. And I look forward to continuing that, that dialogue. Um, this will give me an opportunity this year to really be a little more in the forefront and dealing with, uh, you know, agents and, and players and other teams. And, and Walt and I will um, use this year well to, to kind of transition into the future.